What's going on everyone? Design Coma here. Welcome back. And the gameplay you're watching is me playing some Black Ops 3. So, what is up for today's video? Well, I have a really, really cool story. And it's it's funny at the same time. So I'm going to try to get through this real quick. It might be a little bit of a lengthy video. I, I Hopefully it won't be. I'll try to keep it as short as possible. So not too long ago, we upgraded our phones. Me and my wife, we upgraded our cell phones. We also upgraded our kids' phones. And when we were at the store choosing the phones out, we started talking with the rep and the rep was telling us about this weekend only promotion they had going on for tablets. And it was, in, it was with the same brand that the cell phones were. And the brand is LG. The tablets were, to be honest with you, they were pretty good. They were nice tablets. There's nothing wrong with them. They worked great. And we were looking for new tablets to begin with. My kids needed new ones because their nooks are just completely destroyed. Our iPad has the screen cracked. So we were looking for new tablets. And during the process of us talking with the rep, there were some uh, miscommunications, some things weren't asked. I failed to ask some really important questions. Things got a little bit mixed up. So we ended up getting these tablets. The thing that I never asked about, is there a charge for the data plan? So these had to be on the six gigabyte data plan in order for them to qualify to be free. And we got them free as long as we never canceled our two year agreement plan. Because of course, you know, you're getting new devices, you're gonna be signing a new agreement, whatever. So we get the devices and the next day I take my kids up to get their phones replaced because they weren't with us at the time. And that's when I realized, hey, I remember seeing the rep put a SIM card into those tablets. So I asked the other rep that was helping me with my kids' phones, and I asked him about the data plan, is there a charge? And he's like, oh yeah, there's a $25 charge for each of the devices. I'm like, wow, $75 extra dollars on top of our bill when we told the rep that we had to stay within a certain amount of money. We had to stay, we couldn't go above it. So there was just a bunch of miscommunication, it was a failed question that I didn't ask on my part in terms of when we were at the store doing the purchase. So we call up T-Mobile. We, we go through this whole buyer's remorse thing, which is what they have, and that's what they call it. We take the tablets back, no problem, return them. Had to take one of them back a few days later because the system was just running really slow. And my wife went to take those, take that one back uh, on that day, get them all returned, managed to get the $75 restocking fee, you know, waived, which was great because that would have that would have just been a ridiculous amount of money. My wife realizes when she gets our August bill, there's one of the devices still on there. So she calls up T-Mobile again and says, hey, why is this device on here? Why is it still on here? They tell her, well, we really don't know why. You'll have to go back up to the store and find out. So she goes back up to the store and apparently what the, the rep at the store told her is that they were having a hard time returning it for some reason. For whatever reason, they just... They're having a hard time returning it. And that just, I don't know, it didn't sit well with me. It just sounded like a bunch of crap. So we're like, okay, how long is it going to take? Well, we have a ticket open with so-and-so or whatever, and we're hoping to get it taken care of soon. Okay, so my wife checks that, checks in on it again. And during this whole time, every time she calls T-Mobile, they're giving us credits on our bill for the uh, inconvenience and stuff, which is cool. That's great. I, I don't mind getting credits and, and everything. We finally get everything straight now. We get everything taken care of she called them again to tell them hey you know why is this still on here what's going on this is what they told me they told me that they have a ticket open because they're having a hard time returning it well the guy on the phone the rep on the phone was like you know I hate to tell you this but I think the people there or whoever it was you're talking to isn't really telling you the whole truth or telling you the truth so my wife goes back up and during that time when she's talking to the other other rep on the phone he's like I'm gonna go ahead and give you and credit your account some more <laughs> So he gives us more credit on our account. My wife is like, you really don't have to do that. It's fine. And he's like, no, 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 no. No, we, we are going to do this because this is something you shouldn't have to go through and whatnot and everything and all that stuff. Okay, cool. I would never argue about anybody giving me credits on my account. Trust me, I wouldn't. I, my wife has an A personality. And if you know what an A personality is, it's very precise. She likes everything precise. So aside from that, she goes up, takes care of everything. We get the tablet finally returned and everything is good 
everything's fine and dandy, and then she goes to pay our cell phone bill, and it's only like $18 and some change. I don't know if I would actually call T-Mobile up, but my wife, her A personality, being she has this wonderful personality that I just absolutely love about her, she calls them up and asks them about why the bill is like less than $20. It should be around 200 something dollars. So the rep is like, well, we'll, we'll figure it out, this and that, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you another credit. So he, cre he credits our account another $20. This is why I do not have an August cell phone bill. My cell phone bill for August is completely zeroed out because for one, all of the runaround we had to go through with the tablets and then for whatever reason, this last rep decided he was gonna give us another $20 credit and he basically said, we we hope you stay with T-Mobile and this and that. And I'm like, well, I kind of have to for these two years, but I don't know if things keep going this way. I'll tell you what, this was really good customer service. And it's rare that you come across good customer service, especially with cell phone companies or even cable companies. My hat's off to Team Global for all the help and everything that they gave us and definitely all the credits, which in all honesty isn't, isn't necessary, wasn't necessary because we are the type of people that will pay our bill regardless of what it is. We will pay our bill, but I'll tell you what, they really, really went the extra mile on this one and that is why I do not have an August cell phone bill and it's zero dollars. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the story and if you did, don't forget to give it a like, favorite, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Losing B. We lost C. Garden Sentry deployed. Friendly Hellstorm inbound. Guardian deployed. Securing Charlie. Friendly counter UAV inbound. The round's nearly over. Keep up the momentum. Securing C. Tango. Overwatch down. All CDP assets degraded. Headed to Exfil. Drinks are on me. Superior firepower. Superior defenses. Superior performance.